All right, let's also uh, finish out this segment talking about Marriott's latest results. Company coming out, beating uh, or beating on the bottom line. Slight miss on the top line, but turning that profit, Sazi, and, and one of the larger profits we've seen, I think the largest, if my, uh, if my quick check here on the sector is correct, among the major hotel chains during second quarter earnings. Yeah, you have to give a shout out to Marriott CEO, new CEO, Tony Capuano. Uh, he gains a lot more street cred with me this morning. He talked to me, he told me about two and a half weeks ago, we sat in a penthouse suite in a Marriott New York City. He said, our results are improving. Leisure is improving. Business trends are improving here. And he came out today and he delivered a massive earnings beat. Uh, sales a little light, but even still coming out on the earnings release saying this morning, those trends continued into July. Leisure, business, tra business travel is lagging leisure. But all in all, this was a pretty good quarter for a company that is only seeing, I believe, worldwide occupancy levels of 51%. These are not normal times for this company. Yeah. And I, that occupancy level, um, I, where, do you, where do you think where do you think Marriott thinks it can get to in, in 18 months? 70%? If business travel gains steam, if, if it gains steam, it just has to. People have to go back out there and traveling. I'm getting ready to go on a business trip. Do you think there's too many rooms? There are a lot like, of rooms. Like, like system-wide, do you think that this industry ends up you know, spinning out different right. parts of its brands because there's just too much capacity in it? I did ask Capuano about that, but that has been a long-running theme within the hotel industry. They can, a lot of Marriott, Hilton, they're still opening thousands of rooms. They continue unabated. It's not just the U.S., it's international, thousands of rooms. Uh, that has never seemed to have bare fruit in terms of pressure, rev par, or, or, or other metrics. So. Mm -hmm. Not a problem yet. Oh, well, there's a uh, KKR's results are out this morning. Dry powder's up 68 percent. Maybe they can go buy some, maybe buy some hotel rooms. Yeah, why not? Buy a couple of brands out of the portfolio. There you go. Yeah. Compete with Airbnb.